Uh, good evening, committee chair and committee members and members of the public. Uh, my name is Alex Hamilton, Fire Chief for the City of Oxnard. Uh, tonight uh, I come before you um, seeking uh, approval for uh, applying for grants for the Assistance to Firefighter Grant Program. Um, so we're asking that the uh, committee recommend the City Council adopt uh, a resolution that allows us to apply for these seven different grants or uh, seek seven different grant applications that I'll go over in, in a minute. Um, that it also includes a 10% match and uh, those grants uh, to include an aerial apparatus, uh, a medic squad, uh, extractors for uh, our stations, um, battery operated extrication equipment, thermal imaging cameras, wildland gear and tactical emergency um, medical services training. So also to authorize a city manager or designee to execute the grant agreements if grant funds are awarded to the city, um, as well as authorizing the chief financial officer or designee to submit finance reports, grant claims, and approve budget appropriations during the 22-23 um, the fiscal year for the use of grant, uh, use of match and grant funds and perform all other required financial actions and that it also authorizes the fire chief or designee to submit the non-financial reports. So a little bit of background, the AFG or Assistance to Firefighter Grant Program is actually one of three different grant opportunities that we will be seeking this year. Um, each, of, each of them will open at different times. So currently the AFG uh, application period is open. Uh, so that's primarily for training, equipment and vehicles. Um, it's a competitive grant process. Uh, this year they're estimating that they'll be awarding $414 million um, to the uh, different fire departments across the country. Uh, separately, there is also the fire prevention and safety um, grant, uh, which is obviously, uh, as you can see there, a smaller pot of money at $46 million. That's primarily for smoke detector installation programs and things like that. And finally, uh, staffing for adequate fire emergency response or SAFER grant. Uh, and this year it, it got a significant bump um, uh, through uh, CARES Act funding. And so there'll be approximately $560 million in funding for this year. However, um, oh, excuse me, before I talk about the applications that we're gonna be applying for this year, last year we did very well in AFG funding. As you can see there, we received money, the fire department received money for sending five more paramedics to, or excuse me, five more firefighters to paramedic school, um, as well as improving our, um, our wellness program through purchasing new uh, workout equipment and actually training some of our firefighters to, to help um, our personnel with their workouts. Uh, we, we also, um, as a part of a regional grant application, received $335,000 uh, for more paramedic monitors and AEDs or automatic external defibrillators uh, that we uh, need um, when people go into cardiac arrest. And then finally you can see there just over $225,000 for uh, uh, additional portable radios. And so the department over time has done uh, very well as you can see since 2009 we've had over $4.2 million in, in grant awards from the Assistance to Firefighter Grant Program. Uh, as I already mentioned, um, the, the grant priorities primarily are training, equipment, uh, wellness and vehicles. Um, and so when it comes to basically, so the fire department can apply for, or the, excuse me, the, the city's fire department can apply for, uh, for a grant under training, equipment or wellness, as well as being a lead on a regional application, but it can also participate in any, as many regional applications as there are fire departments. Um, and then all of the grants have a 10% match. And just as a, uh, just a little way of explanation, uh, because it's not um, how you would assume the match is determined, uh, this comes out of the, um, the guidance documents that FEMA releases each year. But as, as, as you can see there, it's not for a $100,000 uh, award with a 15% match. You can actually see it's just a little bit under 15 grand. And so I just wanted to uh, explain that difference because as you'll see later in the presentation, uh, the numbers won't be an exact what what most of us would consider an exact 10% match. So I just wanted to explain that here. So for, for the 2021 uh, grant proposals, uh, first of all, we uh, are looking to replace our reserve ladder truck. 
Um, it's, it's a 1999, so it's coming up on 22 years old um, and, and very much needs to be replaced. It's, it's, um, it, it's starting to get very expensive to keep that thing uh, running. Uh, the other thing that we'll also be applying for is, a, is a, another paramedic squad. Um, and so as you can see there, we, we have the potential to save a lot of money and it will allow us to uh, initiate a second advanced life support unit into the future um, if we were to get that vehicle. Uh, another thing that we are looking to apply for is extractors. And so you can see the picture of them on the left there. Um, the, the, all of our stations currently have extractors. A lot of those extractors are now more than 15 years old. Some of them are as old as 25 years. Um, and so the newer extractors uh, they do a much better job of, of cleaning the turnouts. The turnouts are the things that we use when we're fighting fire. And because we, we need to do a better job of pulling those contaminants out of the turnouts after structure fires because they're full of carcinogens. Um, and then the, the other thing about these new extractors is they take much better care of, of the turnout material themselves. And so we, we hope we can get longer life out of our turnouts um, by, by this uh, upgraded technology. Uh, we are also looking to add to our tactical EMS uh, program and so I think as the committee is aware uh, we actually have uh, fire personnel um, who work closely with the with Oxnard Police Department's SWAT team to ensure that we can provide immediate medical assistance for um, any significant injuries. Um, our tactical EMS uh, operators actually also provide uh, care to uh, suspects that are occasionally injured uh, during the process of their arrest. And even actually the, the police canine um, dogs also receive, uh, occasionally have to receive medical assistance from our TAMS operators. So we're, we're looking to add a number, uh, six more uh, TAMS operators to our roster. Um, now for the regional proposals. So um, Oxnard's regional proposal was gonna be that medic squad that I mentioned earlier. Fillmore Fire Department will be putting in a regional application for battery operated extrication equipment. These are the tools that we use um, to extricate people from traffic collisions. Um, there is now some really good uh, battery technology and so it just allows us to be a little bit more nimble because our all of our current equipment has um, hoses, cords attached to them that have to go back to a generator. Um, and so it'll just it allow us to um, remove victims of traffic collisions more quickly um, and certainly if they're further off the road we'll be able to get to them faster because uh, we'll be we'll be able to be a little bit more nimble. Uh, the Ventura County Fire Department is applying, applying for a regional grant uh, for thermal imaging cameras. Um, we will be requesting um, $120,000 or $119,000 worth of um, thermal imaging cameras. And then uh, the city, uh, Ventura City Fire Department um, is looking at uh, applying for a grant for wildland supplies. And so for us, that would um, include uh, hose packs. Um, we, we use different hose on, on wildland fires that's lighter, and we actually have them on backpacks so we can walk into, into the wildland um, with those hose packs. And then 50 fire shelters. Uh, the fire shelters are for um, all of our personnel on wildland incidents have to always be carrying one of those shelters um, in, in case they ever get into a situation that they, their escape routes have been cut off. Um, and so it's a little emergency shelter that they can use. Um, we hope that our personnel never have to use them, uh, but they're, they're actually a requirement anytime we have personnel out on a wildland incident. And so here is sort of an application overview. So you can see there, there's um, each one of uh, the different applications um, uh, and then their match. Um, and so the, the total uh, grant award, if we were to receive, if we would be successful in all seven of these is just a little under $2 million. And with that, I would be happy to answer any questions. Thank you so much for your time.